Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies Halloween Specials. Before we get started, what are we drinking? Creighton Duke Smash Ale. <laughs> yeah. Cashmere Smash Ale. Makes me think of little girl sticking a hot dog <laughs> through a donut. In a pink dress. <laughs> Today we're going to bring to you a top 10 list of some of the most underrated horror movie showdowns. The first one on our list is... The showdown at the end of The Car from <laughs> yeah. 1977. This is basically a showdown between this mysterious ghost car <laughs> and the whole police force trying to fool this car into driving into this canyon where they're going to try to blow it up with some dynamite. James Brolin's in it, gets out of his car, and him and another guy are kind of standing there, like, luring the, the car to come and hit them, Yeah, right? just wait! Yeah. Just wait! And they jump out of the way, and the car goes into that canyon. <laughs> yeah. The asshole character who's like beating his wife and stuff in the beginning of the movie, he kind of <laughs> redeems you. himself because he's kind of the guy who rigs up all the dynamite. And right. Yeah. Blows up the car. Next one on our list, 1978's The Manitou. <laughs> Harry and John Singing Rock fight this Manitou who's been growing on the back of uh, Harry's friend. The Manitou can harness energies from his surroundings. Yeah. Then he freezes that that whole floor of the... <laughs> with, the yeah, with that nurse? Yeah. <laughs> Just her head goes yeah. through that window, yeah. blowing people yeah. out. Like, that guy in that door is yeah. all... Oh, boom! <laughs> There's all this, like, cosmic energy yeah. in space <laughs> yeah. and everything flying around yeah. and shit. <laughs> the next one on our list is Terror Train. The final battle between Alana and the killer, Kenny. They fight through several cars of this train. There's one moment where she like locks herself in this cage and he's trying to get in and it's just a great little battle. Jamie Lee Curtis is completely trapped. She's still able to inflict damage on him. Even when you think Kenny's done for, he isn't. You see him outside of the train <laughs> like he's peering in. Fight again at yeah. the end, yeah. He's a neat foe, too, because he's he's crazy. It's almost like he doesn't know his own limitations or something. Yeah, yeah. And he just kind of, he just keeps coming. That brings us to 1981's Eyes of a Stranger. Tracy versus Stanley Herbert. He's the serial killer in this movie. He learns that Tracy's blind, and he kind of figures he's got easy pickings, right? Goes up to the apartment, and she's standing there, and he's even toying with her a little bit, right? He's thinking this is going to be a breeze. Not nope. so much. Gets that coffee in the face. Yeah, and, yeah. But super hot coffee. So it's like, <laughs> okay, yeah, she's going to fucking fight back. Yeah. And she does. Stanley's kind of on her turf, too, right? So in her apartment. Yeah, yeah, so she kind of knows the ins and outs and where everything is, and he sort of doesn't. Which is neat because she's blind. You're also kind of rooting for Stanley at the same time. Can't you get her? Can't you? What are you doing? What's wrong with you? <laughs> the next one on our list is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. The fight between Lefty, played by Dennis Hopper, and Leatherface. The chainsaw <laughs> fight. As soon as he goes to that chainsaw place and he's trying out those chainsaws. <laughs> <laughs> he's all hacking yeah, at that log. And then when he starts like tearing down their house, I get their their underground lair. Bring it all down! <laughs> the Lord of the Harvest. <laughs> What's that? Some new health bunch? <laughs> That's happening at the same time Chop Top is chasing after Stretch, cutting at her legs. So there's almost two battles happening at once. Their lair yeah. coming down on them. As right? they're fighting, yeah. Yeah, so that's like... That's on top of everything that's yeah. going on, which is yeah. cool. <laughs> Grandpa gets up, throws that <laughs> hammer, and it hits Leatherface. <laughs> <laughs> the effects are done by Tom Savini in that movie, and then when Leatherface gets the chainsaw right through the gut, right. looks great, and he's all still fighting when he's got that <laughs> chainsaw on him and everything. <laughs> 1988's They Live. This one is between Frank and George. It's the only one on the <laughs> list that's not a showdown between the antagonist and protagonist. They're, they're both good guys. Yes. Frank is just simply being stubborn, yeah. right? <laughs> he just won't put on the glasses. Just put on the glasses. I want to show you something. It's like, no, just put on the damn glasses. <laughs> 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 Ooh, they're doing all those wrestling yeah, moves. Of course. Keeps going. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of the longest fight <laughs> scenes. As soon as you think it's done, ooh, <laughs> they, keep, they keep going. Like, Jesus. 
<laughs> they really beat the yeah. shit out yeah. of each other, too. And then when he does put on the glasses, sees everything, they're buddies again. They're all, oh, they're all beat up. And now they have to go fight the aliens after they just beat the shit out of each other. That's that's great, man. <laughs> Next on our list is the big showdown at the end of Phantasm 2 between Mike and Reggie and the tall man and all of his minions. <laughs> Track tall man down to this mortuary that he works at now. And as soon as they get into that mortuary, it is just balls to the walls, showdown. And you finally get to see what their weapons will do. Yep. Especially that quad shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, and then like Reggie has that big showdown with the gas mask guy in the basement. And then in the meantime, Mike is fighting Tall Man's other minions. The effects are fucking yeah. some of the best. And then, yeah, they make their way into like that embalming room, right? And then they, there's that still those two pillars that lead you to that other dimension. They yeah. almost get sucked in. Tall Man shows up and then they got to fight the Tall Man on top of him. And the Tall Man's a mean fucker, right? Yeah. He's like a tank. Even that ball thing goes into his head and he just he just grabs and just crushes it like nothing. Yeah. Next on our list is Crawl Space. Lori versus Dr. Gunther. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Gunther is this like perverted scientist. He has all this Nazi propaganda and shit <laughs> always playing in his attic. And she gets into the ducts. She starts getting chased by Gunther. And he's got like that cart thing yeah. too. And he rolls on <laughs> down the ducts. and <laughs> He's all pleased with yeah. himself too that he's got all these contractions. Wearing that makeup and everything. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they get up into his lair. He gets stabbed by that, that, that mechanism. <laughs> but it turns out that it was just all a ruse, right? To learn where they were. He ends up going after them again. The only showdown I can think of that were the murderer fakes their own death. Or even just to get off on it a bit, you know? Because yeah. he's a sick guy. It you know? culminates him getting shot by the very gun that he was using to play Russian roulette with, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's finally caught up with him. Yeah, and I like that because there's one bullet in there. Click, 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 until it gets to the boom! Yeah, yeah, and that's the end of so poor be it. The next one on our list is actually a Halloween movie! Yeah! We didn't think we'd bring one up, but we're huge fans of the showdown in Halloween 4. Rachel with Jamie on her back versus Michael Myers. First of all, it's long. It starts at the house. Then they go on the top of the house, then they yeah. fall off the house, make it to the school, then after the school he's on the truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's just non-stop. Poor Loomis tries to do something and he gets thrown through that <laughs> door. <laughs> that window? Yeah. <laughs> it's up to Rachel to do what Loomis should have done. What, what he <laughs> couldn't do, right? Yeah. Michael hitches a ride and just cleans out that pickup truck. The whole pickup truck. Fuck, and like stabs that guy in the back yeah. and then rips that guy's <laughs> neck. neck. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That, that's just awesome. Yeah. Until it's just Rachel and Jamie left again, right? Exactly. And, then... and that leads us to our final one, Ravenous. The fight between Boyd and Calhoun. It's not only a fight against wits or strength, because they're both super strong by this point from yeah. eating all that flesh and yeah. <laughs> getting the Wendigo. But it's a it's a battle against morals. Calhoun wants to continue. Yeah. He wants he doesn't give a shit. He just wants to kill people and eat. Boyd is having serious regrets yeah. <laughs> about doing this, right? They're super strong, kick-ass fight, because they can both take a lot of shit. Now. Yeah, and they do. They yeah. all chop each other up. Building that falls down on Calhoun. <laughs> yeah. One of the best endings where they both get caught in that bear trap. Yeah, that giant That bear giant trap. bear trap, and then the, the line, you know, If you die, I'm definitely going to eat you. The question is, what are you going to do? If I die. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. It's great, yeah, because you don't actually see how it ends. How it ends. That guy shows up and starts eating that, yeah. that human <laughs> stew. <laughs> that general yeah. guy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So that is our top 10 underrated horror movie showdowns. Ones that everyone knows, Michael versus Laurie, and yeah. Halloween, and... The Friday, Exorcist. Yeah, Friday the 13th. MO of the channel is forgotten movies, so here's some forgotten showdowns. Exactly. And until next time, keep drinking. Keep drinking.